Hey guys, welcome back to the Art of Craftsmanship. My name is Dustin, and today in the shop, we're gonna be unboxing, building, and starting up my new 2x72 Revolution Grinder. Now, this one was built for me specifically and custom made for me from Brian House over at Housework. Go check his channel out. He does an amazing job, and he designed this really beautiful 2x72 Grinder. I've been waiting to get together so we could film an unboxing for you guys. I got my drive wheel and my belts, and I don't wanna wait any longer. So let's get right into it. Let's open them up and check it out. All right, we're gonna open up the first box. This is the bigger of the two boxes. So I'm thinking maybe this will have the bulk of the body of the grinder in it. Let's kind of open this one up and see what we got. Now both of these boxes had a little bit of damage to them. It doesn't look like I lost anything, but I'll be careful anyway. Ooh, all right. Let's see what we got. All right, so that looks like it's just, just some Pack material for covering the top, move this back. All right, yeah, Brian did tell me that he sent a couple belts along because uh, he wasn't sure if I'd have them or not, and we thought that he might. So, got a couple belts here just to try. Ooh, looks like I got a 36 grit. Let's see. Yep, 36 and a 60. Awesome. It's back here as well. All right. All right, let's see what we got. A little bit of styrofoam for packing. Man, he did a great job packing this up. Throw that. It's like this. It's all packing material. Make sure I'm not missing anything. Let's see if I can get this out of the way so you guys can see from up there. All right, that's better. Good. All right. So let's. All right, looks like the bulk of this is here. See if I can take this out. All right. Over. All right. Nice. There is one more thing inside here, so let's hold off on that. Let me take a look what we got. Packing material. Nice. Look at this. So sweet. So excited. All right, so this is the main body. This is where the motor will mount. Whoa. All right, and this is our hinge. Oh, there's the turn, look at that. Oh, so nice. Holy cow, look at this thing, it's so sweet. So this is for our two positions. We can run vertical or horizontal. Flip that up like that. Oh, man, that is beautiful, look at this thing. So nice, I'm so excited. One more thing inside this big box. All right. Let's take a look at this. Get this out of here. Wow. All right. All right. This is one of the tooling arms. This looks like it is the tooling arm for the work rest. So that will go in here. Open this up. Yeah. Slides in like that. That can go there. Here's my custom mount for my motor, welded on by Brian's son, Dexter. He did a really amazing job. I'm super excited, this thing is so awesome. All right, let's go ahead and open up our second box now. Try to get this on camera so you guys can see. We can all enjoy in the same excitement. All right, open that up. Boom. All right, so got a few different parts in here. So let's go, let's see. All right, there. Looks like another tooling arm. All right, let's take these things out. Let's see what was hanging off. Oh, I see a little wrench. I know what that is. All right. 
Right, we got four more parts here. So let's go ahead and cut each of these open and we'll check them out. Brian reached out to me uh, and just, we've been contact back and forth. He was super generous and made this one custom for me. Um, I just can't even tell you how excited I am. Man, look at this flat platen. Holy cow, look at this beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. So long. What do we got? That's probably 11 inches here, this flat platen. It's super nice. Uh -huh. All right. Oh no, it's one thing. All right, this is the top tracking wheel with a little custom handle for tracking. I love that. Welded on this little wrench, it's super nice. All right, and let's see. Last but not least, is the tool rest. And it's customizable so it can tilt forward and back. That will go. Oh man, that's so awesome. All right, so let's go ahead and put everything together and see what it looks like here before we mount our motor on it. Come on. A little tricky, but that's good. That means it's gonna stay on well. So that should now hold this arm up here for me while I am using my pliers to hook on the spring. Aha, there, nice. So adjustment knob and the tension on the spring, that's really nice. This is the motor I picked up recently. It's a single speed capacitor start AC motor. One horsepower should be plenty of power and should work really well. Ooh. <laughs> making these fine specific measurements because I want to make sure that the motor shaft is nice and perpendicular to the entire grinding wheel. I want it to be, I want it to run really nice and clean. So that shaft, the motor has to be mounted perfectly in line with the entire belt run. I have kind of this ragtag bunch of hardware here that I'm going to use to mount this because I didn't think about the hardware that I would need. And so I figured, eh, no big deal, I'll just run out to Ace Hardware and pick up what I need. Can't do that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and mount it with what I have, which is just some uh, hardware that will work for this project. And then when I get a chance, I'll order some better hardware because what Brian has on here is really nice. So I'll make sure I get some nice stuff to match what he's put on already. 
Oh, baby. So I'm working on the tracking now, and it's a little bit outside. Brian made the tracking wheel adjustable, so I can actually slide this entire piece out. But I also need to work on the flat platen to get this out as well, so it's all lined up with that motor. I do have some flat aluminum bar stock, so I'm gonna cut this into pieces here that I'll be able to stack up until I can get it exactly in line so everything is running straight forward and back and in line with my drive wheel, tracking wheel, and flat platen in the front. Next thing I need to make is this. And what this is, is a keyway, and it's missing the key. So I need a square piece of bar that fits directly inside that keyway, and that connects the drive wheel to the shaft. There's a set screw that goes down in, and it'll tighten down on that and keep everything in line, but I need to make that keyway. So I have a piece of mild steel. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. It fits just right inside there. So I'm gonna grind this down to flat, cut it into a bar, cut it just long enough, and we'll make that keyway. It's got to be a little bit, oh geez, a little less, a little bit less. Got our keyway in, we tightened down the set screw that's inside. We'll go ahead and plug it in and give it a shot, see how it, how it turns. It's running. We're almost there, almost there. All right guys, well it's the next day. I did come back down last night and I kept kind of messing with this because it was kind of playing on my mind. We put the spacer in here on the platen arm to bring the platen out some, but I was just thinking that maybe the wheel wasn't aligned correctly and so I added a few little spacers in the back and I got it to be a little bit more perpendicular to the actual tooling arms. So which actually aligned the wheel better and I was able to put a belt on and kind of get it running true. So let me go ahead and throw a belt on now and we'll show you how she works. All right, guys, here we go. Let's give it a shot. Yeah, that tweaking really made a big difference. Getting that wheel lined up perfectly is really what matters. And it's tracking really nice, running straight down the platen. That's great. Oh, man, I'm super excited. This just looks so awesome. All right, guys, well, I am super, super excited about having this grinder in my shop now. It is beautiful and gorgeous. It works really well. Um, 
you know, I'm just, I'm happy that I was able to get it and, you know, get something that was really well made and really well designed. Brian House, who made this for me, uh, sent it over. He went above and beyond. Just, this is gorgeous. I'm super excited to be able to use it now in the shop. You know, just seeing the way he welded this together has just inspired me to try my hand at welding, try some new techniques and skills, and hopefully those will all come into play in new videos as well as you'll see this grinder in a lot of videos in the future. So if you haven't already, definitely go check Brian out at his YouTube channel. It's Housework on YouTube. Um, he does really beautiful build videos, lots of designs, has a great studio and does really beautiful production on his videos. Uh, so check him out, check him out there, check him out on Instagram. And also if you're interested in purchasing or you want to build your own grinder like this one, he has plans on his website, which is housework.us. You can go over there and check that out. He does beautiful plans, really detailed, lots of colored pictures. They're 100% worth the money to buy that and build your own grinder like this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, it's been a fun build. It's been a fun video to shoot this and I'm super excited to be able to use it. If you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and like this video. Check us out on Instagram and Patreon, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.